Okay, so I am going to explain Nelson Goodman's new riddle of induction. Now, <clears throat> I think before I do this, it would be helpful to explain uh, David Hume's original problem of induction. And before I do that, I'm going to explain deductive and inductive reasoning. Now, deductive reasoning is um, t establishing conclusions that are certain from premises that are true. So, when we say, uh, all men are mortal, Socrates is a man, therefore Socrates is mortal, what we are doing is deduction. And conclusions reached via methods of deductive reasoning, uh, their, their, their certainty is established. They are true, they are certainly true. When we use inductive reasoning, though, we are doing something else. Induction just seeks to um, provide sufficient support for a conclusion, and that is what we do when we do science. <clears throat> science is inductive. Now, uh, David Hume thought that this, well, it, it, rightly so, uh, but that this posed a problem to science because anytime you make a prediction, uh, you know, an empirical prediction, uh, you're doing induction, but there's kind of a problem because when you say uh, that tomorrow the sun will rise at about, you know, six or seven or whenever. What your your justification for this at pressed is you would go, well, you know, it did so yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and, I mean, pretty much always has since there's been a sun and an earth. What you're doing is appealing to a regularity principle. A regularity principle, you know, is just something that says... Well, it worked like this in the past, so we think it's going to work like this now. But to appeal the regularity principle, you would have to appeal to another regularity principle. You would have to say, well, um, regularity principles have always held. So you're begging the question. Now, Goodman, on the other hand, thought that um, Hume's original problem of induction could never be solved, uh, and if you try to solve it, you're wasting your time. So, Good Goodman gives us this new problem of induction, and here's what he does. Goodman defines the predicate GRU as something that is green and being observed before the first moment of time t, and act what at time t actually is is arbitrary. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to say that it's the first moment of the year 2100. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, something is GRU if it is green and observed before time t, or something is GRU if it is blue and observed after time t. So, this allows us to say things like, this emerald is green, this emerald is GRU. And Goodman also had uh, blue and bleen, and bleen is just exactly what you would imagine it to be blue and observed before time t, or green and observed after. Anyway, so, basically we would expect emeralds to keep both properties uh, being grew and being green. But, after time t, uh, emeralds won't be grew anymore, because grew, after the year 2100, only applies to things that are blue. So, it cannot be the case that emeralds will remain both GRU and green. Now, what we see is that calling things uh, GRU gives rise to this new sort of, this new riddle of induction. And the new riddle of induction, which is what Goodman thought philosophers should be working on as opposed to the old riddle of induction, is discerning uh, which Predicates are projectable. So now I'll say a little on that. Uh, one of the questions that arises from the new problem of induction is the difference between uh, generalizations that are supported by their instances and those that aren't. 
So, it's very, all ravens are black. It's a very similar sort of, you know, it's a generalization. Uh, as is all emeralds are Gru. But, we would say that all ravens are black is actually supported by, you know, the instance of having a raven. And, in, you know, and it's, it's black because ravens are black. Uh, but all emeralds are Gru is not substantiate, or, you know, it does, we don't really, it doesn't provide us any evidence to have an emerald in front of us and say, you know, it does not actually help us to say that this emerald is Gru. So, now, Goodman is thinking that <clears throat> his response to the new riddle is that general generalizations, and I am, uh, I'm quoting from the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy's article on the problem of induction right now. Those generalizations that are supported by their instances involve predicates that have a history of use in prediction. Such predicates Goodman called projectable. So that's what I have to say on projectability. But before we wrap this up, I want to return uh, once more to the nature of, to the predicate grew. Uh, because the new problem of induction is very easily misunderstood. Uh, for a while, that was what was keeping me from understanding it. I didn't actually know what it meant to say that something was grew. Uh, so, since one of the purposes of this series of videos is to, you know graduate Western's philosophy program with an understanding of, you know, critical philosophical uh, and so to that end, I feel like the most important thing to stress is Gru does not mean that things actually change color. Uh, very important to keep in mind. When we say something is Gru, we are making reference to either, uh, we are making reference to its color and the time at which you are observing that color. So it's a disjunction. When we say something is grew, we are saying 